In this how to we are going to learn how to save the image into the database. Now in order to save the image into the database uh, for this demonstration I have created one database table and uh, my database table name is files and that has auto id column that is auto increment and a file name whose width is va uh, whose data type is varchar and width is 250 and then file content whose data type is of image and active is of bit type so there are four uh, fields into this files table now let's create one sample uh, form on the aspx page in order to insert the data into the database so here is my code of the sample form you can see that on this page we have a file upload control and then we have a button on click of the button we are uh, executing upload and save into the database server side method and then we have one label where we will write success message or the failure message now let us see the code for upload and save into the database method so let me just copy paste that as well so here is my code behind and uh, naturally I, I, I will have to copy the connection string also database connection string so here is my database connection string that will be saved into the underscore con str string variable of well now let us try to understand this upload and save into the database method here first what we are trying to do is that first we are getting the name of the file using file upload control this is this is file upload one so here is my file upload one so file upload one dot posted file dot file name this will give the basically the name of the file and that will be stored into the file name variable then we are going to get the content length means the length or the size of the file that is being uploaded so that you can get using file upload control dot posted file dot content length and gives the and this gives the length of the file in bytes so that will be stored into the file length variable then what we are doing is that we are going to create one bytes array uh, whose length will be the length of the file and then what what we are doing is that we are reading all the streams of the file and putting it into the image byte variable that is a, a array of bytes and then that we are instantiating the SQL connection then instantiating the SQL command object and in the SQL command constructor we are passing the stored procedure name in this case my stored procedure name is insert image and then we are setting the command type equal to stored procedure and because this stored procedure is retrieved is uh, is uh, accepting three parameters file name file content and active I'm going to show you the code of stored procedure as well later on and then uh, after uh, creating the uh, parameters we are adding those parameters into the SQL command and then opening the connection and then executing the non query method execute non query method of the SQL command that will basically insert the image into the database and then we are writing the success message now let me show you the uh, code of the stored procedure so here is the code of insert image stored procedure that is uh, accepting three input parameters and it is simply uh, using the insert statement and saving the records into the database it's pretty simple uh, the stored procedure uh, has uh, one uh, parameter called file content that is of image type you can see here because my uh, 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 file content field of this file table is also of image type so that's why I have used image here as well and this image type basically you can save using the um, bytes of array so here despite the fact that the file content is of image type we can pi we can pass uh, uh, the value as the as the area of bytes into the uh, in, into the database now let me run this page so here is my page as you can see and before I select something let me show you the uh, record of the files uh, table here there are seven records now let me select any file from here so I'm going to go ahead and select a file so let me select one file here 
and then when I will click uh, upload and save what happened is that this particular file has been uploaded and saved into the database successfully now let me refresh this page and you will see that one eighth record will be added you can see that eighth record has been added and titled jpg and uh, the whole content of the file is here